fuck them. Yeah, I am the 800 pound gorilla. You ever had business means in that gorilla? I can feel that I'm going through metamorphosis. It's so luxurious, I'm glorious. Look at me, I'm victorious. I don't need to brag and I don't need to boast. I ain't got no competition, I'm battling ghosts. Hold up, let me dress the elephant in the room. Yeah. I am the 800 pound gorilla, it ain't no secret You never gave a fuck about a nigga Your loyalty was sold to the highest bidder <laughs> Sell out clown, only wanna be down Hopping around a different cruise just to try and get the crown A fan only blows when you're hot And birds only fly wherever it's hot Why your body language change when I walk up in the building Everybody put their hands to the ceiling Watch the pendulum swing and the tables turn When they gon' learn Fuck it, I'ma let them feel the burn Yeah, I knew it my whole life Fuck being verified on Twitter I'm verified in real life International, I'm talking ISDAs Might sound foreign to your finance Ain't on your resume Best believe I always put my own money up Watch it flip through a summer sword Let pile up Smart enough, hustling differently throughout the drought All my real niggas already know what I'm talking about I ain't running the sprint, I'm running the marathon Walking in the comic car, feeling like I just stuck the car The Megatron Dawn of the Amazon I'm still having convos with Rita about Black Swan Yeah, I am the 800 pound gorilla nigga The heart of a lion with drive of a dope dealer I only got three words to say Long live Harambe! JS, what's going on, man? What's good, my brother? Hey, thank you for taking the time to sit down and talk with me. I know your schedule's been quite hectic, man. But... Man, this is a regular conversation. This is a regular conversation. <laughs> this ain't no real interview. This is a regular conversation. We don't make moves. We make movements. So it's only right that I take you back to the beginning. Yeah, the very, very beginning. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on! <laughs> That's too far back. That's like the beginning, I, not that far back. Let's go fast forward just a little bit. Elementary school. <laughs> nah, that's too far back. Hold on, we gonna fast forward again. Middle school. Y'all yeah, not ready for that story. That's a whole nother movie in itself. Fast forward again. High school. All of these things could be movies in itself. We don't have time to make an eight hour movie. Let's fast forward again, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Hey, Jerome, what's up? What's I was up? looking for you hosting that party this weekend. Yeah, bring your friends, tell them come. You're not graduating, so you probably won't get the grad. Who's the graduating? Jerome, are you the only one? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? What's up? How you doing? I'm good, I'm chilling. All right. Me in college, I forgot I even went to college. I, that's, that four years seemed like it just went by. But nah, that's, that's too far back. Let's just go fast forward to the album listening party. Let's just fast forward to the album listening party day. We're very happy that everybody could be here. This is, uh, we wanted some of our most special people in the world to be here to hear what we about to do. And um, this is an album JS created. Um, and what y'all understand about JS, I gotta let him go. <laughs> I gotta let him do what he do. His creativity is amazing, and I, and when he do what he do, I just gotta, I, I can't stop him. And so there's nights where he's been he's been in the studio for I mean a lot of hours where I don't even know what he's doing in here. 
I mean, I'm, I'm literally. I mean, he's been in here. Like I, I, I would say he would come in at like twelve. Let's start with yesterday. Yesterday, the kid came in at what time you come in yesterday? Like eleven a.m. Yeah, no. And then he didn't leave till like two o'clock in the morning yesterday. You know what I mean? But it's been like that on the regular, and that's what he do. And what he does is he like he found a way to uh, control the uh, the board and all that from in the booth. And so he's in here recording stuff, and he's doing he's doing everything himself, so he don't need no help. So I don't know what I don't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, I love it though. I love the creativity because that's about that's all about LTD. That we like the creativity and everybody to be able to go to the next level and do what they do. And um, I'm really excited about, you know, letting him do what he do. We are hustlers, okay? We don't sell crack, we sell music, okay? And that's what we do. And so I'll let JS take over from right here. I definitely felt like I left everything on the record. And uh, I said a lot, I said a lot. It's a lot of songs, but I really said a lot of stuff on this album. And uh, I said a lot to a lot of certain people and how they how they uh, handle that is on them, you know? <laughs> I mean, I definitely say how I feel, so it's, you know, it's, it's on them. So the music, you feel like the music basically speaks for itself? The music definitely speaks for itself. Okay. I mean, I, I, my actions definitely speak louder than that, of course, but the music is the soundtrack to that. <laughs> okay. Is there any meaning behind your album names? Okay, I like that question. Uh, Conceptually, it's just talking about the momentum. Just it's, it's very fast paced. Like you'll you'll see me dealing with uh, female issues, but then it'll go straight into a party record, and then it'll go straight into me having to check an old friend that think they entitled to shit that they really not entitled to. Right. So it just happens. This it's not it, there, there's transitions, but it just happens because life it's like life is like that. It just it just happens. So it's, it's very. Is very reactive. That's that's the best way to put it. Eight hundred pound gorilla is just a person who, when they step in the room, the energy shifts. Like if you see an actual eight hundred pound gorilla you're not going to feel the exact same way that you felt before you saw the 800 pound gorilla. It's going to be a little different. Your energy is going to be a little bit different. Yeah. So that definitely represents who I am. Whether it's a corporate environment and I walk in the building, your, your energy shifts like, yo, oh, this guy, like he, it's a little, he's a, he's a young guy, but he, he has, you know what I'm saying? He got his shit together. Right. And whether it's the streets and it's like, oh, I come around and it's like, oh, the real big homie here is a little different. So that's that's all 800 Pound Gorilla is. And the reason, one of the reasons why it's my favorite songs is like you get to hear vocally like me that that raspiness that I used to have. I kind of finally figured out how to bring it back in my 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 vocal tone. So you get to see that, hear that, all that. <laughs> Any other questions?
So spontaneous, miscellaneous, girl, I love your circumference and your radius, we both think alike, I guess we both know what's going down tonight, me on you and you on me, feeling over your body, baby, I'm a triple threat, you double joint, all I need is one night, you won't be disappointed, damn, I see you flowing on the sheets, we should've got a private suite, better close the door for you, wake up your niece, let's shake things up, I'm going down, when you come around, your whole playground, you wanna play neck and twist or tongue twist, you know I'm good with my tongue, I'm a good kisser, but I'ma take it slow, when it comes to full play, Baby, you know I'ma, I'ma take it slow. Show to see forever, my lady, and I'ma, I'ma take it slow. This that supernova, super soaker role, playing Harley Quinn, Joker, playing strip poker. I'ma take it slow. It's getting hot, you can feel the flame. I'ma take it slow. Fucking on the couch after playing video games. R1, R2, L1, L2, left, down, right, up, left, down. Switch positions, we don't give a fuck. You know, what has been the response since it's been released? The people. Like, this nigga's a freak. This nigga's, <laughs> this nigga's doing and saying some stuff that's like, wow. Yeah, I can say I, out of all the projects I've heard to date, yeah. it's probably no homo son. Son of freakiest <laughs> <laughs> records he would have ever released. Yeah, it, like I said, it's, it shows a different side. It's, it's, it's many different colors to this person that they call Jerome Smith. It's, it's a lot of different colors and personalities. Not personalities, but there's many different aspects to who gotcha. I am, so. Gotcha. Wifey for lifey, she just like me, we on round three. We into that freaky stuff, handcuffs to throw away the key. Her favorite position is CEO, being on top is how she ropes. She love my stroke of genius. This the tip of the totem pole, the sex so good. Have you rolling your eyes to the back of your head? We can do it on the bed, 69, get neighbor. Well, hold up, let's get creative and stay go up and down. And round we go. Damn, I love that reverse cowgirl riding on that pole. Man, it puts us so good. Sweeter than sugar, sugar. Like a shit off the wall. Fucking on the sub, woof, woof, woof. Your body is so amazing, like the instrument that I'm playing. Chemistry. 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 And also, I guess you had also said that it was one of your most vulnerable songs on the album, if I'm correct. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't write songs about females like that. Like, on the first, the very first album, Weapon X Evolution, it was like two songs out of 20. That's. Two out of twenty, so that's one out of ten. That's ten percent of an album. I'll email. Yeah, I don't do that. But I was super in my feelings about a. I won't even say a female. She's a very close, special friend that I've known for quite some time. That wasn't acting right. I'm trying not to be too personal right now. <laughs> I'm not trying to put her out there. I'm trying not to get back in your feelings. Nah, I'm good. I'm, a, I'm in a good place, man. I'm in a, in a, I'm in a very good place. But uh, nah, she wasn't. She wasn't. Uh, there was very little communication. Every time I would try to reach out, there was always um, little to no communication about how I was feeling. I was trying to. It is complicated, girl. You should be my girl. Yeah. 
But like this really starts the story of the album. So there's a line. I'm gonna pick a couple of lines in here. Oh so, shit. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> line <laughs> where you say ten years and it's still this way. Damn, I did write that shit. What is that in reference to? Ten years and it's still this way. Girl, you might be the one I need, but there's something that you just don't see. Please tell me, is it you or is it me? Fuck it, it's just gonna be what it be. We've, me and this special friend, we've known each other for 10 years. So that's what that represents. So there's some sort of history there. Um, so obviously this isn't some random girl, so the, the, the feelings are a little different. If it was a regular girl, I probably would have just, eh, get on my face. Right. Wouldn't have been stressing about the joint, but this is a little different. So it kind of makes it, uh, it makes it very different. It makes my actions and how I react very interesting okay. at that point. Was there ever a thought where you felt like maybe I shouldn't say this? It was definitely points that feel so good where I was like, yo, I might be going a little too far. I might be saying a little too much for, you know what I'm saying, to put out to the whole world. Like, it's one thing if it's like just me and her, but like, yo, I'm putting this out to everybody. I'm, I'm telling the world how I feel about this girl. But, uh, it's music, man. Everybody connects to it. It's a universal language, so people are going to relate to it. And the fact that I'm so vulnerable, vulnerable, like, that's the key that a lot of people, a lot of artists, a lot of writers can't nail. And I nailed it, so why not? Why not put that up? It's just like that, we done. Yeah, I know you probably think I'm talking about you this whole time. And maybe I am. Or, or this could be a, a metaphor. I could be talking about my love for music. You never know. You know I got a way with words. Or I could be talking about both. You and music. But I'll let you decide. <laughs> yeah. Now what? Now what? Now what? That's part one. What made you be so vulnerable on this album? I ain't had no choice but to be vulnerable. It was like, I'm not a type of person to fake like everything's all good. Like if I'm feeling a certain way, I'm gonna I'm say it. The only time when I'm not doing that is like, if I walk in the studio and I have my producer hat on and I know I have to do X, Y, and Z for even my team or another artist, like all that shit that's happened in my life, that shit gotta go out the door as soon as I walk in this door to record or whatever. Like none of, I can't bring none of that stuff in here. So it's like, it ain't about me at that point. It's about my team, it's about the artist. So I gotta put that to the side. Gotcha. Now, I mean, we're in the studio right now, so, you know, this is where all the magic happens and everything. Majority of the magic. Music? Magic? Yeah. Music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I mean? Since we're here right now, just talk uh -huh. about, you know, uh, your environment, you know, in the studio while recording. I mean, you had a lot of people in here. Yeah. Yo, Lysha, you already got your name, right? I'm all, I'm getting it. All right, you want to hit? Where the mama yes, sauce sat, son? Oh, no, it's already on there, man. <laughs> Anybody got a brick for the, uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it varies. I mean, there were days, most of the album was recorded, I was in his solo dolo, but there was times with my team, they would be in here and I would ask them to do uh, references for me, uh, whether it was like me trying to sing on the track or them laying verses for the album or whatever. So they was in here doing that. But a lot of the times I was recording, it was like late at night after we had sessions or after I had meetings or whatever. So like, that's why most of the songs in the album was recorded at like two, three, four, five in the morning because it was after I made sure everybody else was straight. Like after, I, okay, I knew family stuff was straight. I knew LTD stuff was straight. Weapon next stuff was straight. Everybody got this stuff done. I made sure everybody else was straight and then I focused on me. Yeah, so it wasn't like, I knew, I was gonna make sure everybody was straight, so it wasn't gonna be like, nigga, you took all this time for your album, you ain't even worried about us. I ain't want, I ain't want that. So I wanted to make sure everybody else was straight, and then I, I focused on me.
well, I can say Weapon X Evolution. I did that solo dolo. I mixed, produced, wrote all of that. That's 20 songs, and then some of them is like three songs in one. So it was like I did all that by myself. I ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. I know my writing is on point. I know that the concepts is on point. I'm good. So now it's like, why not work with other people, especially my own team that I'm comfortable with? And I know at the end of the day, I have a certain attention on me that people, as far as publishing people and whatever, films, whatever, I know that they want to work with me. So it makes sense to have my team right there with me so they can, you know what I'm saying, they can benefit yeah. from all the fruits of our labor. <laughs> so we can all eat. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. It all makes sense. And the chemistry was right. So instead of me trying to reach out to a certain major artist, which I could have done, why not have my team do it, which I know I can get a thousand times better verse, hook, whatever from them. And they get the shine. So it's like, it, just, it all makes sense. Y'all my man JS the best in the building. What yeah, up? Yeah, man. What's good, man? Hey, it's all about you, man. Yeah, man. We out here hustling differently, man. <laughs> we focusing on words like independence. Right. Ownership. Right. 50-50 partnership. Come on, man. Yeah, it is, that man. income. It's you better different. preach. We hustling different, man. You better Ooh. preach. We own our music, man. This Bottom is different, line. man. Yeah, it is, hustling man. from the right. ground up, man. So what we got next, man? We got, you know, two incredible songwriters, producers. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> we got my man Phil Jackson. Stop it. We got Mr. Major in the building. What it do, what it do, what? Yeah, positive <laughs> debates with my producer on this um, this record called Nookie. So I I wanted that, you know, um, I had recorded from the time that I was here, I'd probably say I have recorded about 80 records. And those 80 records got chopped down to 16 once we went through them. And so I got those 16 records and then all of a sudden I get a text one day while I'm at home and was like, hey bro, just focus on these records right here. <laughs> and Nookie was not included. He didn't give me no reason or nothing. So I'm like, all right, I'll focus on these records. I come to the studio, <laughs> the next session, I'm like, yo, why are, you, why are you chopping down these records? He's like, well, you know, this record is similar to this record, this record is similar to this record, da 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 da. You know, Mr. Storyteller himself, he don't want to, you know, give too much away and then give two records away that also sound similar. So, you know, he, he like, JS is the one that actually organized the number, like, but once we narrowed it down to eight, he actually organized the structure of, of the EP. So, um, yeah, you'll, so you'll see how it starts off with me talking that shit and then it goes into, you know, your booty trying to, you know, finesse a female. And then I got a little story where I talk about groupies and now I'm going out, you know, partying with the white girls. I like them girls. And then, you know, after I go party with the white girls, then you hop on the plane, go to Bikini Bottom. And then after that, then, you know, the storm comes and everything like that. And when a girl that I met at Bikini Bottom, all of a sudden now she done disappeared. And I'm like, where did you go? And then after where did you go? I'm like, all right, fuck that. I'm going out tonight. And I found me another girl. And we here we go to one and only girl. And we come across that. And then now I'm so in love with this girl that I, I got to confess my love for her. And then we end it with love for you. So this nigga JS be telling one hell of a story. Shorty, I can have them all. With them girls, them girls, yeah. But they make it hard to trust with. with them girls, them girls, yeah. Shorty, I can have them all. With them girls, them girls, yeah. But I ain't looking for one. With up. them girls, yeah. Everybody say. Snapchat. I don't think I want to snap back. She want to follow me on Facebook. She want to show me how that face look. DMs in my IG. Like I'm looking for a side piece. Showing titties on Twitter. Cause ladies know I'm that nigga. I tell you them girls. Yeah. You know how that saying goes. I can't trust none of these hoes. Every night they at my show. I tell you them girls. 
Rose, yeah. Flashing lights all in my name. What they 15 minutes of fame. Just told me that you ain't the same. Shorty, I can have them all. Them girls, them girls, yeah. But they make it hard to trust with them girls. Trying to get a peep show. Always hanging at award shows. VIP ticks, she can't even afford those. Always driving in my range at the strange for a little piece of change. I tell you, them girls, yeah. You know how that saying goes. I can't trust none of these hoes. Every night they at my show. I tell you, them girls, yeah. Flashing lights all in my name. What they 15 minutes of fame. Just show me that you ain't the same. saying that so far as for the skits of the album that yeah. seems to be the skit at the end one of the favorites yeah so, it's definitely a favorite it, yeah. it's 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 a super natural and organic thing like a lot of none of the skits are like fabricated or you know manufactured like it's, it's very natural like it starts off you know it's a phone call between me and a friend and he's like yo i got all these females i got the lamborghini outside the bottles, nigga, I don't drink, but he's, he's talking about, I got the bottles, got the women, this, that, and the third, and then I naturally just come on talking about, you know what, nah, I gotta pick up my girl from work. I got, you know, I don't even get down like that, so I, I'm out. And it, it, it's just, it's, it's a funny skit, but it's not like we're trying to be funny, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, and it's more so the reaction from how I'm reacting, how my friend's reacting, and it's like, oh, this is, you know what I'm saying? And it, it kind of catches people off guard, but at the same time, it leads into the next song and it still it matches the theme of the album so it's not like we're going off track it just gotcha. you know it's another color to the personality that's gotcha. all it is gotcha. too early in the morning it's too early we out here though we in here though it's broken though part two walking down take that hat off jerome <laughs> <laughs> yo man it's too early in the morning i'm too tired what we gonna do what we do Yo, this is wild. She a teacher of this joint. <laughs> wow. She's wow. Out of control. Oh, she a good teacher, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you need to pay for work for those writings? Yep, I do. Most of the time. It's, it varies, but most, like 99% of the time, I do. What's the most you ever got paid? The most I ever got paid? I can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I can tell you, I can tell you, in just 2016, I've made the most money I've made ever. And it's uh thousand, 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 thousand dollars. Six figures. Thousand, thousand, thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the money comes from a lot of hard work, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of sacrifice. Each verse comes in with a different perspective. Like Phil's verse, which I think is one of his best verses that he ever did, it comes from a, a perspective of someone who's super hungry, who wants the money, who needs the money, you know what I'm saying? might get evicted type needs the money.
the rolling. Picture me rolling on some hot shit. Feel like I'm a long JS, my sandwich, and I stop to my short. I got some niggas that can drop you off right at the port and get it for the long talking about from the sauce. And we ain't wanna look like this, we was honestly forced. I remember many days sitting out on the porch. Me and my niggas passed the pot in your basketball court. My nigga trained in the heat in the back of his shorts. If you ain't talking dollars, the fuck you asking me for? I'm Kobe, don't get and uh, my verse is uh, coming from the perspective of a guy who already has the success. Or he, who's like right there, it's right there in front of him. And he realizes it's not exactly what he thought it was going to be. So that's why it has to be two different hooks. Because in the beginning, it's more of a reflection of uh, Phil's perspective. And that, 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 that's what the first hook is. And then when it comes around the second time, it's more of what I'm talking about. Like yo, this shit ain't really worth it. At the end of the day, like what really matters, what really matters is uh, you know, family, friends, you know, the people that you care about. I gotta watch these niggas with my third eye, singing goodbye lullabies while they testify. Ever since I got the money, they started acting funny. On the flip side, I'm surrounded by all these playboy bunnies. Man, damn, look what I became. Women love me, niggas wanna be me. I'm critically acclaimed. Now everybody's starting to change just because I made a name. Fuck the money, fuck the fame, nigga. This shit is not a game, man. The chosen one, the gold child, damn this shit is wild. Hard to tell who's really real and the fake smile. Fuck it, you can have all of this shit. Back. Ain't no money in the world bringing my grandma back The beginning of the end or the end of the beginning My nightmares and my dreams got the same people with them Damn, now everybody want a piece of the pie I ain't Pac, I ain't Biggie, I ain't ready to die you never take me alive Did you not want to be a performer or something? Is that why you went to writing? Nah, I just, I knew where the money was I knew, and plus I was super passionate about producing But um, I'm still, I perform every now and then where y'all from? 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 Where So for those of you who are planning to go to college, how that whole transition of letting, um, of understanding how much of your high school career impacts college and the choice you, your choices for colleges and um, how easy was it for you to do, manage everything in college because you worked so hard in high school? For those of you who don't work hard, this should be a question for you to be listening. Um, that's a super complicated <laughs> answer. Um, it was it was super okay. We gotta do this in parts. Okay. So that, that's a complex. So ask me one question and then I and I. So how did? Staying on top of your work uh -huh. in high school helped you in college. As far as staying on top of my work, it it always helped because I was a I was a good student, but I was outside of the classroom. I was kind of doing some wild things, but I always knew that if mm -hmm. no, nah, listen, I always knew that <laughs> if I had my grades right, then everything else was going to fall into place. So I was always on the roll, if not 4.0 on the roll. I was in all the honors classes, doing the AP classes or whatever. Me and Miss Dudley had. Uh, pre calc over there, so we have to slow down. Yeah. So it was I always made sure that I had good grades and those good grades led me to get to, you know, different schools. And uh Yeah, you did too? That's my that's my phone. Oh, oh, oh. I was kidding. <laughs> I said my phone. Oh, oh, oh. 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 O
But now back to the conversation. Um, Half of the grades allowed me to get into the colleges that I wanted to get into. Now, would you please define good grades for those of you who don't know what that means? A nice two points. Two point oh is not good grades. Okay. Two point oh is not good grades. Overall, I graduated uh, three point three. Yeah. Yeah. You know, why was it important for you to you know talk about the repercussions of your success? People always talk about getting to a certain level of success, but they never talk about what comes with it. So why not talk about the repercussions of success? Like you don't ever, you always pray for success, but you never pray for entitlement, the jealousy, the envy, and all that that comes with the success. So catching plays is represents that, and it also represents a shift in the album where I'm kind of more, a lot more introspective. It's like, yo, is all of this really worth it? Like, I finally get to the place where I've always dreamed about, but it's not exactly what I always thought it would be. So it's just that. Phil Jack, it's good, bro. It's a lot going on, man. I'm trying to, you know, stay focused. I could tell, bro, you hit yeah. my phone, but you don't never hit my phone like that. No, man, it's just one of them days, man. What you need, dude? I need you to take care of yourself for me. I'm here for but you. I need you to keep that shit low, don't, you know what I'm saying, don't, Always. don't, don't be loud with it. I'm going nowhere. Alright. Look, here's all the instructions. Do what you do and let me know when the job done, alright? Say less, I got you. My man. Right. Stay safe out here, man. Man, you stay safe out here, bro. I'm trying to. Don't let these motherfuckers stress you out, bro. Nah, never done. You know I got you. My man. I don't really care about popularity, like... It is what it is. Like, I already... I don't feel like I have nothing to prove to nobody at this point. So it's like... I'm good. My quality of living is going like this. So the album is doing what it's supposed to do. I, it, it's weird because it's like people have been asking me like, yo, how's the album doing? The album is doing good. It's doing better than I would have expected. But the thing is, it's weird. I'm getting a lot of support from people I've never met, of course, people in the city, I've never met people outside the city, people in different countries, people in different uh, continents like India, Japan, even though that Japan's not a continent. Japan's a country, right? Yeah. Japan's a country. <laughs> yeah. But the point is, it's like I'm getting all the support from people I've never met, but then there's people I've known my whole life that's not supporting it. There's people, Crazy. there's people on my team that's on the album that don't support this shit. Not to say that that's to everybody, of course, but right. there's people that I know haven't, because I see, I see everything, that I know haven't posted anything or said, yo, go cop my man's album. And I know at the end of the day, it's not intentional. Like, everybody got other shit to do, you know what I'm saying? But don't be at the finish line like, yo, I know I was supporting since day one, this, that, and the third, when the shit do what it do, right. and you wasn't supporting, you know what I'm saying, when I needed the shit. Well, what's good, my brother? What's good, homie? Out here living it. Yo, you good? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. How you been? Man, the grind is finally paying off. It's finally paying off. Putting so. in all this, all this work for so many years, and it's like, now it's actually happening. Like, you get money in Japan. I mean, I've been putting in the work. Nah, You've you been putting in the work, too, but it's just it's just now paying off for me. You out doing big things. I see yeah, it, man. You see me on the TV. I see you on TV. I see you. Did you, hey, did you shout me out? Come on now. No, you didn't know. If you was watching, you would have seen it. I was watching, but you out here living a dream, dog. You too busy. You too busy to even talk to me about this stuff, dog. You, you just showing up now. You think you are coming in here like this. Like, who you think you are, bro? I only went here that, like, LTD. We supposed to be doing this. It ain't nothing. You ain't even talking about nothing, for real. Mm -hmm. No, I really ain't got time for this. I came over here because I, I just wanted to see how you was doing. Yeah. I ain't seen you in a minute. Yeah. I'm making the effort. Yeah, hey, I'm glad to see you, too. But that's how you gonna roll? This this how you really gonna act today? Nah, nah, you just gonna go over and get money in like Japan because you the man. Like, what you talking about? Man, I don't know. I ain't gonna hit, hit me when you ready to talk for real. Right, yeah, all right. <laughs> LTD. Uh huh. People don't really understand, like, when you get successful, not even successful, when you have the momentum, and when, yes, when you get successful to a certain point, you're, you're gonna have people from your past or people that you might have come up with at certain points in your life, they're going to think that you're, they're going to think that they're entitled to certain things. Right. And no, nigga, you're not. I'm sorry, it's not happening. I'm not just going to hand something to you. I'm not just going to keep doing things where I'm going out of my way and I know 
for a fact that you wouldn't do the same if I was in the situation. Because I've been in certain situations and these people weren't there, so. Nah. Friends or foes or family over everything I'm realizing is certain things I just can't bring. Everybody and their mama think that they are critic. I can't help everyone. I gotta know my limits. I can deal with the snakes. It's just the rest I hate. Cold with smile. Yeah, you still your fate. It is what it is. It was what it was. Just cause we blood, that don't make us fucking fam. Cause always bringing up the ocean to feel relevant. Now I'm Leonardo and the Revenant. You tried to put pressure on me to make me sink. That's why I cut the call. You was the weakest link. The price of success, they rarely tell you that it's scary. Niggas in my circle throwing shots indirectly. It's hard to be friendly when everybody envy. I'd rather have four quarters and a hundred pennies. It definitely hurt because I remember me recording the verses and it was like tears coming down. And it, it, it definitely hurt because it brought up a lot of different emotions and a lot of different... Um, other friendships and I was like yo it got to the point where I was like fuck everybody you know what I'm saying like I, I got love for y'all but yo nah everyone can't come nah short days long nights hotel rooms and red eye flights now that I think about it maybe I think too much now that I think about it I don't need no fucking crush they be hearing and seeing me on the radio and TV deep down they hate me and want to be me you gotta pay your dues and everything you do Swiss Beats told me the sky ain't the limit it's just a view am I looking for love or just someone to get closer they run when I treat them like how they supposed to it ain't me maybe it's you don't try and win no shoes that you been out grew validation is a silent mass killer i know you having trouble looking in the mirror you lost a real one ain't no going back the more i grow it hurts but i gotta close the gap now even though you probably mean well sorry i couldn't get no details blame it on the hearts of people fall apart everyone can't come with me now that wouldn't be smart i don't even got the time for these females I grind like it's retail. I'm selling everything, baby, except my soul. I'm just trying to get to places that y'all couldn't go. You get a chance to see how, uh, especially in this industry, like people be like, yo, that, we fan, we, that's my, my blood, we go, nah, like, especially in this, in this industry, like, these niggas don't give a fuck about you. Right. They, they only care about, about you when it's convenient. When it, you know, when you have the momentum, when it, you know, when you got the juice, when, when you shining, you know, when you when you not, when you really need somebody, they not there, so. Uh, look who could finally join us. Hey, welcome back. Ain't you glad to see me? Hey, how that LTD thing working out for you, bro? Hey, all right. You like a little girl. Hey, like a girl. Let's see, <laughs> the table's turned now. Uh, what happened to all that LTD shit you was talking about, bro? All that money in Japan ain't gonna help you over here. You was talking about that shit for ah. your motherfucking self, ah. bro. Uh, yo, what do you want? I want it all, man. I'm trying to get everything you got. I'm supposed to be in this. I'm supposed to be part of this. We supposed to be doing this together, like I you think said. I'm gonna get it to you I'm now. Like, no, hell no. You, I'm gonna take it. Take yeah, what? Take what you mm. I'm taking everything. I want the cars, the ah. clothes, the females, all of that, bro. You over there on planes and shit. <laughs> Still talking that dumb shit? Oh, now nah, it's dumb shit. Now nah, it's dumb shit. That's how I knew you was a fake ass nigga. That dumb shit. LTD all day, right? But you the one making all the bread. You the one taking all the trips. What's up with that? What you doing, man? How you just gonna leave me behind, bro? Yo, I came back because I genuinely wanted to check on you. Yeah, I, all the shit that we talked about, though, you came back because he was too busy flying around doing all that extra shit. Nigga, I'm right Everybody here. I tell you to talk, bro. You got behind there. What you think I got behind here, bro? <laughs> Go through, got a gun. Where you get a gun from, boy? What you think I got it from? It's in your motherfucking face. You don't need to worry about that. You got me out here tied up. Yeah. Because you left me. Let me out! Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, let you out. You don't deserve to get out. You've been out this whole time. Making that money in Japan. What happened to that? You think they're going to get you out of these ropes? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shit funny, huh? Oh, this shit funny. You got jokes now. Everything on LED. <laughs> <laughs> but a you little tour brought a little you gun out. <laughs> this nigga got motherfucking <laughs> jokes, man. Huh? Like this motherfucker ain't loaded, son. Nobody play with you, man. What's up? I knew you since you was a little boy. You yeah. about that life? You seem to forget. Sandbox. Sandbox. LTD. 
Yeah. But you back over here now, and now the table's turned, bruh. The tables have turned, bruh, and I don't even give a fuck. You the one in the chair. Nah, this ain't real. <laughs> the real question, when you go and wake up, this ain't real. you just did, right? Boy, shoot me then if you think it's real. It's real, If you really think it's real, you need to wake up. It's real. What you talking about? Wake up! I, I hear and I see everything. People either tell me the shit or I see it. So, most of the time I don't respond. But this time, I said, fuck it. You just, you yeah. gotta sometimes, just gotta let people know. You gotta fall back. Okay. Number one spot, taking all that. Yeah, cause you, you usually don't, you know, respond to negativity. So. I don't, I'm in a good place. Why, why, why do I need to respond to negativity if I'm in a good place? I don't, I don't have to, but at that point, I, like, like I said, Momentum is a very reactive album, so it's like, at that point, I said, you know what, all that shit is out the window, I'm just gonna say what I gotta say. Under promising over living, you don't know your fundamentals, fuck you from, nigga, the harder the hit, the deeper the debt, I'm independent, ain't nobody ever handed me shit. Talking equity and ownership, the upfront money and the back in percent. What the fuck you mean you can't afford a track though? You was just rapping about you had 10 stacks up on the track though. Let me guess, that was mommy, daddy, money, ain't no dummy, little buddy. Yeah, this shit can get real gully. I got my foot all on you, motherfuckers neck. Yeah, you better come correct and show some motherfucking respect. Don't you go talking shit behind my back. Matter of fact, you get one wanted, better fall back. Flex and Drake got the goose, I got the whole land over the grace period is over. Now you fucking with my real street soldiers. What inspired the song? It was a lot of people in the industry. I won't even say in the industry. It was just people who have high aspirations to be in the industry that were getting a little beside themselves. <laughs> and, you know, I'm, in my mind, I'm thinking, you don't have the right to say any of the shit that you're saying. And I kind of don't want to respond because you're not even really worthy of a response. But, you know what? I'm going to say this. Boy, shoot me then if you think it's real. It's real, If you really think it's real, you need to wake up. Real. What you talking about? Wake up! Tell about my voice, nigga. Man, you take that mask off and stop being such a punk. Yeah. Yeah. J.S. the uh -huh. I knew you hit like a girl. Hey, 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 hey. Over here, over here, over here. You got something to say? Something on your mind? Hey, over here. Something on your mind? Now you tied up. What you gonna do? It's just you and me out here. What you gonna do? Can't do nothing, right? You know who my man Phil Jackson is? Coach. Still playing stupid. Player. I'm gonna give you a second chance. Do you know who Phil Jackson is? You playing stupid right no, now. I don't know no Phil Jackson. You don't know no Phil Jackson? Author, 11 rings, I think. Yeah, I know Phil. Of course you know Phil now, nigga. Them ribs hurt now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my man. He told me that your little DJing job wasn't going too good. Trying to be the next Calvin Harris. It ain't going too good, right? It's all right. It's all right. Nigga, he told me your ass is working at a high school, nigga. You're not supposed to know all that. Nigga, I ain't finished. Same hospital that I had that procedure done. And you know what he told me? You told me you was interning with the doctor. You know what the doctor told me? The doctor told me that I had cancer, nigga. But he also found out that an intern switched the paperwork. Yeah, I do. Nigga, you was in your feelings that much that you went out of your way and did that? Yeah, man, I had to get you back here, bro. That's the only way I could get you here if I made you think you was dying. And what was the purpose? To get you right here, right now. 
Hey, yo, TD, man, we supposed to be doing this, man. My nigga, you tied up. But you out here flying around, doing all types of everything, man. Just leaving me behind. I want you to feel the same way I feel. Say another word, see what happens. Yeah, you scared now? Come on, man. You scared that's, now? That's what you doing, man. Uh-huh. What you doing? Uh -huh. Hey, we go back, fam. We, oh, we go back now? We go back. Now we, we go back? Family, like. We ain't got to be, man. I know we LTD, man. Nigga, we been growing up with the kids, man. You crying? You shedding tears? Your mother ain't out here to save you now, nigga. Come on, Jay. That's man. We fam, bro. Oh, oh we fam. Yeah. We fam, right? We go back, man. Now we go back. Yeah, man. Like, we, we don't even got to do all this, man. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to be living the dream. We can go man, hop on a plane or something. Hop on a plane. Like, yeah, put all this behind us, bro. We ain't even got to worry about this. My nigga, you ain't never been on no fucking plane, nigga. Hey, LTD don't mean nothing to you? Nigga, you ain't LTD, nigga. What are you talking about? I mean, it's always time to stop. See your face right now, nigga. If I kill you right now, ain't nobody gonna miss you. Nigga. You know what? I'm just gonna leave your ass right here. You gonna leave? You gonna leave me? Hey, come on, JS man, You're tied up to the chair, bro. You ain't even worth it. Hey, look, JS man. Hey, JS. Let me go, man. Come on. Feel I'm still moving pace. Can't you hear that I'm still pushing keys? Study the game from all angles. All youngins ain't immature, and every old hit ain't an OG. I'm Humphrey Bogart on a rap pack. This the super fly soundtrack. Meets the big payback. Marlon Brando meets Vincent Van Gogh. I'm Tony Soprano, painting pictures like Picasso. If you don't see the bigger picture, nigga, you did wrong. Leave you behind, now nah, I'ma leave you where you belong. Get it on my own, won't owe nobody nothing back. Blind leading the blind, so go ahead and hit the road, Jack. Yeah, let me cut out that middle man. Watch me execute this master plan. Yeah, I seen the stars align. Hill Hopper told me stay on my grind. It's only a matter of time before they see the shine. So it, I know where I'm at as a man. I'm not really looking for validation from anybody. I don't really care. Like, yo, this is me. Accept it. We'll get the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your recognition. Yeah, you heard me, but did you really listen? You wasn't with the chef, cooking in the kitchen, flipping shakers, making decisions on how to kill all the competition. Burying with a smile, killing with success. God bless, don't even stress over the process. 10,000 no's when all you need is one yes. Sons who are the war, Mr. Art of Finesse. Imports and exports, major distribution. 100% me, weapon X, evolution. This shit ain't happen overnight, got that big check First things first, fix my eyesight Vision clearer, dreams getting bigger Looking in the mirror, the underdog is the winner Organized noise over organized crime Not chasing waterfalls, I'm coming after everything that's mine Nigga, so I ain't gotta lie I think my approach to music is There's days where it's very much natural and it's like stream of consciousness and it's very like effortless, like it just happens, like it's, it's boom, it's a spark and I go in there and it's, it's like almost like magic. But then there's other times, especially when I'm writing, I don't really write, but I'm learning to write. Cause like I, I normally write in my head, but then I'm doing so much, I forget the shit. So I gotta write it down. And then 
especially when I'm rapping, I'll do a lot of technical things. Like I'll do a lot of multi-syllable things. While instead of the average person, they'll make the the last word rhyme. I'll make the first word rhyme with the last word, and then make sure the word in the middle rhymes, and then it's super technical at that point. So it's a little bit of both. And no more, you say, pay homage but stay futuristic. Can you talk about that? Pay homage but stay futuristic. My tribe is so optimistic. Busting loose, I'm a soul searcher, but I'm far from an amateur. From ghetto to ghetto to the backyard to the junkyard. Just pass me the baton. Who knew I would have took it this far? That that line really represents who I am because. In every aspect of my life, I always pay homage. Whether it's music, I always pay homage to who came before me. Whether it's in life, streets, whatever, I always pay homage and acknowledge who and what's been already done. But staying futuristic is always saying like, yo, I understand and I respect it, but now it's my turn to take it to a whole nother level. Like I got the baton, but guess what? I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take it to a whole different level where it ain't never been. And that's the example that I wanna leave, you know, for the next generation. So every time keeping up with Kardashians come on, do you get paid? Every time, and I'm going to get that money forever. So like my kids, whenever I have kids, they gonna get that. Their kids gonna get that. So it's like it's not gonna stop. And that's what's called royalties. It's like that's the that, that's what we call the back end. You get, you're always gonna get the back end of your money as long as your contract is straight, like you signed the right contract. A lot of people, you always hear the stories people signing horrible contracts and then they on the uh, they put the show on TV one. Uh, Unsung. Yeah, unsung, unsung. talking about, oh, I wish I could have did this because they didn't. They signed a bad contract. But now always make sure that you uh, have your business affairs in order. And you always want to see the back end. I feel That's like for you. This, the senior route was definitely a point in, in the album and just in my life in general where I was like, I'm not in a rush for anything. I want everything to happen organically and how it's supposed to happen. So whether that's relationship-wise, career-wise, whatever it may be, I was like, yo, I'm just gonna enjoy the journey. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to the destination regardless. Like, nigga, I'm hungry for everything. So I'm gonna get there. It's just, I'm just gonna enjoy the route. Man. I think I want to take it up another level. Is God playing with my mind or is it the devil? No matter how you put it, I know she's special. That's why I took my time since the day I met you. But I don't want to move too fast. You worth more than some new ass. Waiting for the right time, but it flew past. Don't worry about me, y'all stay blessed. I'll be fronting like ain't nothing stressing JS. My fellas tell me that I ought to go and get her. Plus, I keep that money coming like a flowing river. Take out a stay and you know that I deliver. I'm just here to warn your body off throughout the winter. And if I got a race for you, know I'm the winner. I drink to that, and you know I'm no sipper. You my Cinderella, honey, come up out your slipper. Trying to turn my life around and put you in the picture. Uh, I want to ready, set, go. But baby girl, we should take it slow. Yeah. Let me take you to the moon. Relax and I'm going to play your favorite tune. Yeah. I love your pretty brown eyes. My star, you shining bright in the sky. I want to ready, set, go. But baby girl, we should take it slow. Take it slow. I want to ready, set, go, but baby girl, we should take it slow and take the scenic route. The D.C. area is where I grew up at, so why not be super authentic and super real to, you know what I'm saying, my story? Like, and plus D.C., go, go, we, we have our own sound, so it's like, it's, it's okay, I'm going to own it. You know what I'm saying? So now I have my own sound. I incorporate live instrumentation in everything that I do. I have live strings, live brass, live drums. My percussion game is always crazy with the timbales, or I could be hitting on pots and pans and sticks and stones or whatever it is. Like, I'm gonna make that shit happen. So, Go Go will forever be the foundation of what I do. I hear that.
don't need to compare when you in your own class. The girl in the magazine don't look like the girl in the magazine. You are a queen. You don't need all of that anger. Yeah, Be Beautiful definitely had an influence of Tupac as far as how he always uplifted women. And I knew at some point I always wanted to create that song, Uplifting Women, but not necessarily from a point of uh, the woman that I, I want to be intimate with, but just women in general. Like, it could be my mother, my grandmother, my little cousins, my aunts, whatever. I just wanted went all women to feel empowered and uh, not always feeling insecure, but like, yo, you're enough. Just the way you are, you don't need makeup on every day. Nah, you good, but you nah, girl, you good. Nah, you know your work. I think what makes momentum different from Weapon X Evolution is that uh, Weapon X Evolution is really like a prelude. It's like more, I would say, 2012 and previous. Okay. I, I would say that. It represents, it represents the older me, high school, middle school, elementary. And uh, this Momentum album, it, it definitely represents, now I got the juice. That's what it, it just, I got, I got, I got the juice. The attention's on me and how I handle it. How I handle just getting the money, like the money's finally coming in, so how I handle that, how I handle the attention from certain labels or... Okay. My man. <laughs> Are you doing a video? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <laughs> I'll just say I'm, I'm about to roll out. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Super cameo. <laughs> I flex in the building. The supermodel joint? Nah, nah, I'm gonna do that at the end. Oh, you're doing some yeah. <laughs> There's a thousand things going on. This guy's wild. He's, you know, yeah, he's one of the wildest guys I know. So. Yeah, we doing a thousand things, but this is what we do, man. We living the dream. Living the dream. You can't. It's all right. It's all right. Are you? Just... No, no, I got it. Viv... Now look, look, you on camera. I got it. I got it. Viviendo el sueño. That's not it. It's not. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? You close. What is it? Yeah, what is it? Why, why are you walking away? What, what is Mouse, it? Mouse, son. What is it? <laughs> um, I'll be back in like, uh, like two hours. All right. <laughs> Flex, that's my brother for life. Like, that's one person that I can I can always say that when it's all said and done, when I when I'm done, if I'm ever done making music, that's always gonna be my brother. Like, we met. I was an intern for him back in 2013 for the for the uh, radio station, and I remember as a kid, always growing up, listening to him on the radio, hearing the water dance. And all the, you know what I'm saying, all the songs that he did, oh, ski, ski, I remember that, like, you know what I'm saying, so, for me to be interning for him, like, I remember the first meeting, like, I, I was, I wasn't nervous, but it was like, yo, this is, this is really about to happen, and I remember walking in there, like, yo, what if I don't get the joint, like, yo, this, this, because him is like, at the point, I was, I viewed him as like Jay-Z, like, yo, this is the man, like, yo, I don't know if I'm even ready for this. JS, a.k.a. the best, What's producer, best? composer, up in this joint, extraordinary, uh, genius is the best way to describe this young man right here. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. There's no reason for you to be nervous. So I walked in there, we eventually, you know what I'm saying, we talked, we chopped it up, it was all natural. We found out we had the same birthday. A lot of the, a lot of, we had a lot of things in common. So it was always natural. And then uh, over time, we just connected like through a lot of real life stuff and we had, we found out we had a lot of similarities. And like I said, when this music thing is all over and done with, that's gonna be my brother for life. What's wrong with you? So you hit me in my head, Flex. <laughs> 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 what 
really did. <laughs> I just need to go in there and put it down. Let you know me copy and paste that whole, that section when you come on. Okay, but look, the way you got it in the mix, right? Uh -huh. Can you copy and paste, um, and you still got to have all, everything, because I want to bring something back. Because right. I want you to hold it now on that, that part. Yeah. I want you to copy and paste that, mm -hmm. but I wanted to, I want you to copy that whole section right there, right? Mm -hmm. But I want you to come back uh, with just the eight, for starters, just the eight and uh, and the keys. Okay. Hold it now, and it should be boom, and then it should fall into the keys. So just the eight or eight and the keys for that part. Yes, for the beginning of that part. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to kind of show you because we're gonna we're gonna build it back up, and then I got something on this disc that I found. Man, you know, that you used to tell use. us. No, I'm gonna show you. Oh, right, I'm gonna right. show you because right. it's in my head. I gotta we gotta right, we gotta right. put it's like a puzzle. We gotta put it together. Right, we can definitely do that. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of work though. All right. But uh, you're a genius, so I ain't worried about that. Yep. JS text me, turn on PGC right now. <laughs> I put on PGC, I hear, Polo and Chuck, Polo, right? So I'm still blasting. I start hearing a water dance. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. We grooving. this Friday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in there painting, doing all this yada yada. Shit live. This is crazy. Yeah. Well, you got it, man. I, 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 as I said before, man, you know. We keep living our dreams. Oh, we need one more. <laughs> yes. One more. Got to tell one. you, man. Hey, man, like, I learned this from Flex, right? All we need is one. Like, we can have, you can have 99 placements, but you still could not have that one. I can have one placement that could outdo all your 99 placements. That's real talk, man. All we need is that one. And then it's on us. Then it's on us what to do after that. We yeah. got plenty. It's been a rough, rough time. You know, a lot of people be be with oh, you when you up. You, to, you know what I'm saying? But the you moment you fall, you to, uh, it's like ghost like town. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 Sleepless no, no. hollow. No. No. But like, do you plan to bring that's when you see who's yes. real and who's right. not. So uh, I, I guess I'm up. I These two brothers you. right here, that's as real as you could get, man. I wasn't Mr. Looky Looky when I came with them. I was down. I was without a deal. I was looking for a home. And these niggas just fucked with me. The person I was. And they came out to be doing beautiful things. I wouldn't trade it to the world. You know what I'm saying? If my passion and my heart ain't in anything, I just don't do it. And you see, I'm here every chance I get. Because my heart and passion is always in this world. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Same thing with Rich, you know? Same thing with everybody you see me with. Windows, DTS. Everyone you see me with, you could probably see a picture of me with them 10 years ago. This is fact. Even Flex. When I first signed the job, that was the first person that did my interview on PG, at PGC. This is all facts right here. The only person that you probably wouldn't have seen me with 10 years ago is JS. And that's only because 10 years ago, my nigga JS was 20, was 12. How old were you 10 years ago, JS? 11, 12? 12. He was yeah, 12 years old. Crazy. I was, I was <laughs> with JS 10 years ago, man. Yeah. Probably the only person you see me with that I wasn't with t t 10 years ago. Man, sixth grade. You feel me? But wow. other than that, loyalty is key, man. <laughs> every was... every single person you see me with, you can see a picture of me with them 10 years ago. I promise. I promise. That flex, me tell you. Yeah. 10 years ago, I ain't gonna tell y'all what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I take out 15, 20 years ago. I tell y'all what I was doing. You know what I'm talking about? Having time in your life. I still am. 10, 11. You was 10, 11 years old when you started no, producing? You want to hear it? You want to hear it? And, I, and I'm glad to hear that. I told myself mm -hmm. at 12, I'm going to be an entertainer. <laughs> hey, dog. At 12. And then, man, wasn't nobody help me? Hey, so I, I had to teach myself how to, how to DJ. But that's why we're all together. Yeah, if you look at my yeah. my mom, yeah, well, nobody uh, helped me, man. What do what I call? Man, um, it used to be um. EPK. See, I'm about to tell my age a little bit, man. But my cousin living in uh, New Jersey, uh -huh. and me used to uh, be on um. Gosh, what station was that? That thing was BLS or something like that. It was yeah. this DJ it was named. BLS. He was named. He's named Merlin. Merlin Bob. 
And the reason why I used to want to listen to Merlin Bob because I thought his name was Marilyn Bob. Yeah. Right? Merlin. But he was Merlin like a wizard. <laughs> Merlin Bob. Oh, Merlin, yeah. Right. So I got Merlin Bob. I wanted, all I wanted was Merlin Bob because I thought he was Merlin Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Merlin. So I got Merlin Bob tapes and I started imitating what he was doing. That's dope. We love you, you know. I know, I know a little bit. Who told you to grow up? <laughs> How dare you? How 
dare you to get grown. <laughs> can't grow up. But, at the time, I needed a record that kind of showcased a different side of my personality, a side that not everyone gets to see, kind of like the Joan inside, the, the fun. Not not even fun, but just that that real, that Joan and the Joan inside kind of. So I just, you know, had to talk that talk. And it was only right that Joe Clay was only, because, you know, comedian right there. So, and not only that, he got bars and people forget nigga was the original Rap City host. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That indeed. Got to talk that talk every now and then. So, Of a young OG, ask about me in 03. I've been hustling differently. You niggas selling dimes, we out here pushing weight. Y'all still selling drugs, we out here selling the state. I hear you loud and clear, your heart filled with fear. I hate you from your balls, from a shade to lit. You the type of nigga that failed gym class with your damn ass. I ain't gonna give you no pass. When they circle around your square, niggas cutting off your edges. I am the reason why your girl sweated out her edges. She loves me when I talk that yeah, shit. My heart is big as my ego, but not as big as my dick. <laughs> He looked like motherfucking nah, the Sunny Boy yeah. nigga. Nah, nah. First I said French Montana. Like nah, nah. No, you know the dude off a of barbershop, the white dude. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Who ate my who drank my apple juice? Nah, nah. I ain't drinking apple juice. Yeah. The, the white guy, that nigga, the, the, yeah. they didn't want to cut the hair. Yeah. I personally want to talk about one of my favorite records on the album. What's your favorite record? Superstar. Superstar. Make room for a star, no. Make room for a star, Mo. <laughs> we all got this certain side to us, but you know, the superstar, kind of like where you let your ego shine. Yeah, you gotta let your ego shine every now and then. Like I'm a humble, I'm a super duper humble guy, but every now and then you just gotta, you gotta let your ego just do what it do. It, you can't let it be super duper. You know what I'm saying? When you out of control. Yeah. But every now and then, like nigga, I know I'm the man. I'm that nigga, even though Mr. Major is that nigga too. But you know what I'm saying? I'm that nigga. I am that nigga. Nigga. <laughs> you just gotta 
Sometimes you just gotta feel yourself, you know? It's just, it is what it is. You just gotta, that's a, definitely an anthem. So Lucky Star seems like it's, you know, like your version of 21 Questions. Lucky Star is definitely my version of 21 Questions. You know, it's every now and then you just gotta, you gotta know, like, if if this is the girl that you want to be with, are you going, are you really going to be with me through the rough times? Are you going to get, are you going to be, you know, are you going to ride or die? That's all it is. Now, you know, what inspired the, the second half of the record, About My Baby? Uh, about My Baby was inspired by Curtis Mayfield all the way, who was one of my favorite creative individuals of all time. And like I say on the song, I'm, I'm the modern day super fly. So I just wanted to channel that because nobody is really doing that now. So I just wanted to channel that. And it was one of the, the hands down, the, the most funnest, that's not even a word, but the most funnest session I've ever had because I was super Jerome Smith. You get the, it was the goofy side. When the behind the scene clips of that come out, you, you'll see it's the goofier side. Jerome Smith. Oh, shit, that was a jazz man. <laughs> I thought the dad was just down on the stage. Sure, yeah. It's the best. It's my son's name, man. She's so bad. Get money. you would it was just it's kind of coming from a celebratory perspective of like a guy that already has a good amount of success but still he's the same guy he hasn't changed over time he hasn't changed he's, he's the same guy but he still he, he comes through the neighborhood he gives back and uh, at the same time it, it's just like I said it's a celebratory record so it, it, it's I'm talking about times on a private yacht and all types of stuff like that so it's just having a good time, and I wish you would try to blow, you know what I'm saying, all of this good time and all this stuff that I work for, I wish you would try to, you know what I'm saying, stop me, nigga, fuck, what you mean, <laughs> fall back. Hey man, in my old high school, my brother, I am Don Juan. He done brought me in the green belt. Roosevelt. I mean, no, no, he brought me two green belts. I had to do to it. go to Roosevelt. Shout out to Roosevelt, class of 2010. I'm gonna I'm about to beat him up later in the studio. It's my brother right here. Man, anything for my brother. Anything positive for the kids to know that we about it, you know? Yeah. Most times I still feel like I go here, though. Even though they got a different color lock in there. That's the band uh, in every hallway. Every teacher that's seen them is proud of them. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. They walk to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> they love this kid, man. JS. Bro. I used to host these rap battles. I gotta show you some shit was crazy. For real? Yeah, but if you had to go across the street, but we got on the news and shit. You ain't even fucking with me, dog. So why are you still here? The fuck about my face? Your eyes watering. He about to shed tears. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's the best on the business call right now. I think I'm watching. Man, flip the fucking coin. Do something, man. Do something, man. Hey, hey, get it closer. Get a little closer. Alright, this is my man Crazy to my right. And we got my man JT to my left. Looks like I got to say to the people at home. And this me giving all these fight club rappers a warning. If you try about me for recognition, I will murder the competition. Tell Ron to bring me some more competition, because I rap with my mind and not my composition. See, you host the rap battle, yeah. and Rich was in rap battle. <laughs> we all belong, man. We all belong.
Crazy. And we gotta do Suitland High School next, man. Yeah, let's do it. We have to do Suitland. Yeah, you flex rich. We can't come to your school and not go to my school. Of course, and we gotta do it. I like the principal though. The principal's cool. Who was that in all pink? She's cool too. Oh, that was the, she was my administrator. Miss Dude. Miss Dude's cool. Yeah. The, the, the positivity in the school is awesome, man. Go to Roosevelt. If you're in middle school and you're trying to get to a high school, either go to Suitland or Roosevelt. Walking through all the whole tired. Say what? Come. I want to do a video in the school. You can't do a video in the school? Huh? You can't do a video in the school? Shit. Right now. And I'm sour. No. And I'm sour. No, do that for him. Come on. 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 So how did you like get into this? Um, it was a super long process. I would say I, I'm gonna try to keep it short, but it's a long process. Um, when I was in elementary school, all I did was like rap. So of course, like that's kind of where I started, and uh, and I went to the school in uh, Landover called Matthew Henson, and every. Every day when I would get out of school, I would see these people beating on the buckets or whatever. And I was like, yo, I can do that. Which, you know, yeah, that's super, super easy. So I would do that. And then eventually we moved to a different school, uh, Robert Goddard. That's how I met Joyce. And then eventually, um, I mean, uh, mm, that's Joyce. Dudley. I'm sorry. Um, and then. Man, don't Joyce. get comfortable, people. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a nice thing. And now, that's the story. That's the story. And then eventually I learned. Talk to me. I got into a symphonic band at our school, and I learned, I was a percussionist, so I learned how to play every percussion instrument. I learned music theory, I studied it, and then by the time I got here, I, I really took music seriously, and I knew I wanted to be a producer, but I didn't, I didn't know anybody in the industry, so I had to figure it out. It would be times, keep in mind I was in ninth, ninth, 10th grade, I, it would be times where after school, I would go sneak into a club. I'm, I'm underage, I'm like 14, 15, not supposed to be in there, getting all the industry contacts from managers, the artists, the A&Rs. I'm, I'm really just trying to map, figure it out. I don't know nobody, so I'm trying to figure it out. And uh, it will be super long nights, and I will still have to come back, do my homework, do my best to get here on time for my zero period. So I had to try to manage everything. Um, it wasn't easy, but I, I made it work, and uh, one thing led to another, and then my junior year in high school, I had the opportunity to work with this uh, this record label. How many of y'all know Rock Nation? Is that Jay-Z's though? Yeah, Jay-Z's label. It was it was super new at the time, right when he left Rockefeller, he started Rock Nation. I had the, the opportunity to work with the artist uh, that he had called Young Chris, and that was like my first super duper major uh, placement. And then after that, I just, I kept at it. I studied, I learned the business. But I didn't come from a lot of money, so it was like I had to figure out how am I going to learn the business. I had to go to the library, get the books on the business of uh, music. And just business in general, because I, I didn't want, I never wanted somebody to take advantage of me, because I didn't know what I was doing. So I had to learn myself, self-talk, because I didn't want to have any, any type of excuse. So I had to learn myself. and. Uh, I just kept at it. I just continued to learn music theory, study all different types of music. I'll stop you right there. Did you hear no excuses? Yeah, never, never gonna let you go was the last song that I wrote to for the album, and I actually did it on the girl's birthday that I'm talking about throughout the whole song. And uh, initially, I didn't want to talk about her on this whole, you know, on the song, because I'm like, nigga, I just did two albums basically about this. I don't want to keep talking about this. And then I tried to stray away and write something different, but it, it didn't, I was forcing it. it. Whenever you force something, it don't work. So I was like, you know what, all right, let me go with what's natural, what's on my mind, and then it came out in like five minutes. I heard my name be coming up in conversations. You are not both know what it is. I ain't putting on the song, it ain't everybody business. And I ain't surfing on the surface.
She know who she is. <laughs> she know who she is. I don't. I don't need to do it. I mean, we got whole albums about her. Just nah, saying. she know who. And I have enough respect where I'm not gonna put her out there because I care that much. You know what I'm saying about my personal life, her personal life, and privacy. So it's like I try to separate the two. Like I say so much in the album that it's like it's a lot of personal stuff, but I'm not gonna. You know, there, there got to be a certain separation. Like everybody don't need to know everything. So. They good. Ten years definitely some, you know, connects and summarizes all three albums because in the verses it, it comes from a perspective of 2006, which is the first verse, 2016, which is present day, which is the second verse, and then the third verse is 2026, which is the future. So it, it definitely connects all three. But to be more specific, in the first verse in 2006, it's like I'm talking about. What did I say? It was a line where I said. Um, what TV? No, not even that. I'm talking about uh, I walked to the school and got all the information, sat down, looked up and got stuck in the gate, saw the type of girl you take home to meet your family on a Sunday. I say that line in Serendipity, which is on the first album. The whole second and third album, Momentum and Renaissance Man, is about the girl. So it's like how that was 10 years ago and then now, 2016, how that is super relevant, you know what I'm saying, to the whole thing. It's just ironic. You know what I'm saying? Super ironic. But uh, yeah, that's how it connects everything. I am confident that I'm going to win in the game of bowling. You want to bet on me? No. Because okay. <laughs> we got to do a warm up first. You warm know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, let's okay. Let's go warm it up a little bit. Okay, I got you. And then I win. Okay, all right. So we'll basically, that's how it's going to go. All right, we're going to see. I'm ready for whatever, never under pressure, I'm quite clever, but however, the first time I saw you, I got stuck in the gaze, the type of girl you take home to meet your family on a Sunday. The best curve on your body is your smile, take a chance with me baby, make it worth your wow, got on that black belt with that silver thing around your waist. I can tell that you got good taste No hesitation from my first conversation I'm patient This is deeper than penetration With an incredible mind and a beautiful soul My good luck charm I think I found my pot of gold We grew up on different sides of the city I grew up fast, she grew up with having money Funny how we both came together at the right time Right place, such a pleasant surprise Can your intuition tell that I'm a man on a mission Now that I got your attention, baby, I got a proposition Love at first sight, or is it destiny? The only thing missing is you right next to me. Serendipity. 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 Talking all night like we in high school about trips to Istanbul or Liverpool. Around the world with my baby girl, good vibes, good times. She don't want the diamonds and the pearls. We take a walk and look up at the stars in the sky, the apple of my eyes. I'm the luckiest man alive. Fell in love with your wishing well, I won't kiss and tell. Remember all them times in the back stairwell? What's your favorite color blue? Yeah, that's mine too. Make no mistake, baby girl, the song about you. I love you, Hershey kisses, so delicious Can't forget about your peppermints at Christmas As the years went by, I had to let you fly away Grow on your own in order for you to stay Love like fine wine, get better over time You never know, such a pleasant surprise Can we talk? Yeah, talk right now? <laughs> yeah. What's up? You remember that job I was talking to you about a while ago? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what about it? I got it. For real? Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I go out and celebrate or something, but you don't, you don't sound excited. I'm concerned about where that's going to leave us. What you mean? I don't know if the distance is going to work. 
But you've been dreaming about this since you was a little girl. That's what you always wanted. That's true. But where does that leave us, though? Look, we're going to make it work, all right? We'll figure it out. You promise? I promise. We don't have to figure it out right now, but we got to look. I promise we're going to make it work, okay? Okay. You sure? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to sleep. One bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Now I no need to rush, now I no need to push. The sunshine of my days and the moonlight of my nights. No matter what, I'll still you shine tonight. Even if I'm overseas on tour, when I come back, baby, I'm all yours. I know we both got big dreams. If the timing is wrong, I hope you remember me. Remember me, ha. Huh. You know I don't want you to go, right? I don't want to go. Mm -hmm. It's just one last thing, though. What's up? April Fools. <laughs> Yo, you got serious? You. I got you. Yo, I don't even like you right now. It's man. okay. It's okay. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, though. Yeah. I... Cause it was a joke. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Um, I like cheeseburgers. I like fries. I like milkshakes. What do the you milkshake like that took me what? How many years to get? But you like five got years. It. Why are we not focusing on the positives? I'm just saying, yeah. Bro. Look at that. That's real cute. Let's get back to the story. What's next for JS and getting best? What's next for JS? I don't know. Like this could be the end. This this could be it. Like I've done everything I initially set out to do as, as far as, as an artist. As music in general. I just the bar that I set, I I did it. Like I everything that I said, all the goals that I always wanted to accomplish, I, I've done. So it's like, I don't know. I'm very passionate about music though. I'm very passionate about art in general and, and a whole lot of other things. So we'll see. Like, I, I don't want to say that I have a specific plan because I didn't plan to do this album. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do this album right now. I was like, yo, 2018, I'll do another album, hopefully a double album. But then things just happened and I got super inspired and then one thing led to another. But uh. Who knows, man? Who knows? I could be knowing anything. I could be a scientist or something crazy, or, you know. But regardless, I'm going to do whatever I'm passionate about, whatever I love, and uh, I'm coming for everything that's mine. I ain't playing no more games. You got her number and everything. She want to introduce you to oh, the nah, parents nah, and everything. Nah, nah she, she about to take you home to mom, though. Huh? You stop looking at me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You ain't here. My bad. You ain't here. You ain't, you ain't. Go ahead. For real. Go ahead. Do your thing. I ain't, I ain't know you was about to jump right into it. Because I'm trying to get it. I got I to gotta get it in the moment. All right. You just can't make me laugh. You say face? Yeah. Kind of face. Like a... Like a... Nah. 
like romantic. Like, uh, I'm feeling him, even though he busting my ass and balling. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm <laughs> Eventually, I'll get over it. Yeah, but he, yeah I'm winning. You know, he's still kind of yeah, cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I appreciate your time, man. Before we go, do you have anything else that you want to say to your fans? Anything that you want to plug? I'm coming for everything that's mine. And LTD, we coming. Yeah. We're going to bogart the door. And we all coming through. Fuck your team! <laughs> Alright, we good.